Well, hello, knife lovers. This is a look at the new ZT0808. Um, and this is my opinion of this knife. It was a little sticky out of the box. It is still a little sticky at times when you flip it. So there's a little bit of something wrong there, isn't there? Uh, other than that, the knife is awesome. The blade is not nothing to write home about. To say, um, uh, looks like a paring knife. But it is functional. It does work. I do like the grind on the knife. I do like the the swedge on the top. And you got a little stone wash here, like the stone wash titanium. The lock up on it is got the steel insert, which is the plate the the plate can. Let me see if this camera will focus in on that. And I don't think it's wanting to. Let's see. There we go. You can't really hardly see it. Um, and it's probably due that I got that black background. But looks of this nap is really good. Uh, great looking nap. And you can see there it is the Rexford Design S35VN, which is good metal. Is the knife worth what they're asking per se? It's, it's kind of close. I'm still kind of up in the air about that. I would like to see it more like around 160. Uh, really good grab on the, bur the blade. Blah, blah, blah. But again, it looks like a parry knife, the blade does. But... It's cool. It works. Smooth. Sounds like a case when you close it. And now flipping. This thing does not want to flip open. Look at that. See that blade? Finally. And I mean, that's uh, a lot of pressure. So that's a fail on the flip. And of course, the reviews I've watched. Now, see, sometimes it'll just flip open so good and easy. But other times, it's super sticky and hard to get open. Sounds like a case when you close it. That's kind of neat. Specs, it's a 3.25 blade. It looks very similar to a Sabenza to me. And you can reverse the pocket clip. And it's got a lanyard hole. Good size. Then you got the cool backspacer. Very clean looking knife. And I like it. Uh, just because I like knives. But now, me, if I would have been, being I buy online, you can't sit there and actually play with the knife before you get it. 
So that's one downsize to buying online. But um, close is really easy. But the flipping is kind of, it's just not up to par with other flippers on this knife. So that's a little look at it. Um, again, the blade is sharp out of the box. And here is the other knife that I picked up. And this is basically a review on the ZT. And I'll show you with this knife, which is a knife I really like. And I've got a few of these Stedmans made in China. And this is made in the USA. The ZT. Zero tolerance. Um, this knife does cost more. And you get what you pay for. Action is just super smooth flips just boom rockets open but let me show you this is what I like about these knives one of my favorite things is that steel insert on the lockup That's a steel lockup. That's a good insert there. It's not real thin piece like you see on most knives. That's a good chunky piece of steel there going against the steel blade. So, looks, of course, I really like this knife. This is the gold one. Cool pocket clip. Back to the ZT. The ZT feels good in the hand. Really good. No super hot spots. The pocket clip, I don't know why they got this big raised up part here as much. I would like to see them kind of perfect that a little better to get that to lay down a little. Sometimes that gets, you can feel it in your hand. Um, but decent ergos on it. Sharpness, I give it an eight or seven. It's it comes good and sharp. Um, super smooth to close. It's just you really got to flip it to flip it then sometimes it'll flip real easy so there's a little flaw in there hopefully you get one that is not like that but flips pretty good so good knife and I've rambled on eight minutes and a half about this knife and if you've watched it that long good good for you <laughs> I appreciate you uh, would I recommend buying it? Yes, but to be honest, I would say spend a little more money and get you a, one of these. You'd be a lot happier. Um, but if size is the thing you're going for, this is would is going to make a great everyday carry just due to the size of it. And again, to me, it looks very similar to a Sabenza as far as handle-wise. The blade looks more like a paring knife blade you would find in your kitchen. So, your choice, you choose. Have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.